Vert Online World is pleased to introduce its new air conditioning service unit series WAC2000 for the new refrigerant R1234YF. This air conditioning service unit is certified according to the regulations of the German automobile manufacturers and by TÜV Rhineland. It can be operated with an external or internal analysis unit. Let us start with the introduction of the unit. The operating panel can be adjusted to any body height and thus makes working with this unit as convenient as any possible. Here are the mechanical pressure gauges for an immediate overview. Is pressure in the air conditioner or is there no pressure? In the front, the klappe in the front, we have a flap behind which the bottles for different oil types are situated. Here we have PAG oil, but as of late, we also have POE oil needed for hybrid vehicles. And we have a leak detector additive. This is what these oil bottles are for. On the right-hand side are the connectors for the service hoses and an additional connection for contaminated refrigerant. This means, if we are servicing a car and discover that the analysis has failed because the refrigerant is probably contaminated, we must connect a suitable evacuation device here and evacuate the contaminated refrigerant. On the other side we have the main switch and the low heat device socket. This has proved to be the right solution as it can be easily exchanged in the event of repair. Here is the ventilator that permanently ventilates the unit to ensure that even in case of the smallest leakage, no explosive mixture can develop inside. Here is the USB port to which the external analysis unit can be connected. And this is the fitting position for the internal analysis unit. On the back side are the suspension hooks, which have newly been equipped with valves. This means, if we must change an oil type, we have to ensure a purity level of 99.9% .9 for the new oil. Therefore, we must hook the service hoses in here in order to flush them beforehand. Here is the bottle for discharged oil, and here we have conveniently installed a door as a direct access to the vacuum pump and the filter dryer in the event of repair. Let us now switch the unit on with the main switch. The unit is ready for use as soon as this screen appears. First of all, this large refrigerant bottle informs us about the amount of available refrigerant. Under these bottles, the available amounts of the different oil types are displayed, and here is the amount contained in the discharged oil bottle situated on the back of the unit. Here is the digital display of the pressures on the low and high pressure side, which are also indicated by the mechanical pressure gauges. Let us start with the manual AC service. First of all, we want to recover refrigerant from the car's AC system, and thus we start with the recovery function. Now we have to choose which service hoses we want to connect to the car. Usually we want to connect both, the low and the high pressure side, blue and red. Next, we key in how much refrigerant shall be recovered. Shall it be recovered completely or just a certain amount? With the arrow keys up and down, we can now choose the amount that shall be recovered. Now we can start the process. Here we can enter additional information which is mainly important for warranty claims. If the customer needs to document his work and wants to know when he has performed which service on which car. When everything has been filled in, we confirm it by pressing enter and we can start. The calibration of the analysis unit starts automatically. We continue the process. Now up here, we get the information. The refrigerant analysis was OK. And here it's displayed how much refrigerant was recovered from the car's air conditioner.
When the pressure in the system has not increased any more during the test phase, this is now being confirmed. The cycle has been completed successfully. Now we can close the valves, disconnect the quick couplers and continue the process. Now we receive the information, we learn the amount of recovered refrigerant and how much oil was recovered and separated in the course. Everything is being printed out for us as well. As soon as we confirm everything by pressing enter, we are returned to the normal standby mode and can continue with the next step. Again, we have to choose manual, then vacuum, and again both hoses are connected. Now we have the option to enter the vacuum time with the up and down keys on the right. After that, we can additionally enter the time for the test phase, which follows the vacuum phase. Now we close the quick couplers, open the valves, start the cycle, and the vacuum phase begins. The result, cycle successfully completed, is documented and printed out at the end of the test phase. We press enter once after the printout and return to the normal standby screen. Up to now, we have recovered refrigerant and drawn vacuum, and the next step is the refilling. In the manual code or cycle charge, the charging is always carried out over the high pressure side. Fluids must always be charged over the high pressure side. This is very important and should be kept in mind. Now we see that we have recovered no oil during the recovery cycle and thus we will not charge any new oil unless we have performed repairs and exchanged components on this car. Then we would have to add new oil. I can enter the amount of refrigerant needed for this car manually, here, or I can call it up from my database, which, if I had one, would be located here on this USB flash drive. I confirm my entries, and then the recovered oil is being indicated here. We did not recover any, and therefore we will not charge new oil. But we want to fill in 200 gauge pressure refrigerant. Now we can start the process. Again, we are shown the information which we entered earlier already. Customer name, number plate, mileage, technician. We confirm our entries by pressing enter. Now we must connect the quick couplers to the car. In this case, we see that only the red one is being indicated, because we've chosen only this one. Open the valve and start the cycle. Displayed here are the four phases necessary for the charging process. The charging process has now been completed. Now we are asked to close the valves. The valves on the car are closed and now I start the recovery function to evacuate the service hoses. The cycle has been completed successfully. As we've already closed the valves, we can now disconnect them from the car. Now we can proceed and receive the summary as a printout. No oil has been charged, as we had not recovered any in the manual mode. But we have charged 150 gram pressure refrigerant. I will now introduce as the actual highlight the automatic mode. We start the automatic mode just as we know it from the manual mode. We decide which service hoses are connected or shall be connected to the car. Now a window opens in which practically all data, which we previously had to enter individually for every single function, is gathered at once. Recovery, the amount that shall be recovered, the setting of the vacuum time, selection of oil charge to be refilled, selection of refrigerant charge for the refill, all this data can now be entered on a single screen. After we've entered all relevant data for our printout, we confirm it with Enter, and then refrigerant analysis can start.
Here we can see that the analysis has been successful and therefore we can proceed with the function. Now we can disconnect the quick coupler from the car, and as soon as we press continue, we are shown a report which documents that we've recovered 142 gauge pressure refrigerant, that no oil was recovered in the course, that the vacuum time amounted to 15 minutes, which we had set ourselves, this time was performed successfully, and that no oil has been refilled because we'd not evacuated any. We wanted to charge 70 gauge pressure refrigerant, and this we have achieved. Therefore, the complete process has been performed successfully, and the air conditioner is newly charged. Here, I can change the language, and I can set the clock time, and even define summer and winter time if I want to. Finally, I want to introduce the external analysis unit. Its operation is very easy and convenient. Simply use the supplied USB cable to connect it to the unit, and then it can automatically be controlled using the unit's program.